evening. Art Hostage here, and we're going to do another episode. And I like to keep you up to date, don't I? And, and, and you know, I love the internet. People give you leads, and, and they say it, they mention people. And the, the latest one, um, who it could be, one of the member, people who were arrested in Greece, you remember with the 300 kilos of cocaine, right, is a man called Paul Cahoon, right? He's an ex-fighter, and he used to fight in the MMA, right, as Boom Boom. Okay, but let me read you an article from 12th of May last year, and then we go to October of last year, and then we see what we think, whether we think he could be in the frame. Ex-fighter Boom Boom hiding out from the police in Dubai. Former MMA star is thought to be living in the United Arab Emirates under a new name. A former mixed martial arts fighter from Merseyside wanted by police in relation to drug offences is still thought to be living in Dubai. Paul Boom Boom Cahoon had be, has been wanted by the Northwest Regional Crime Unit since 2015 in relation to a drugs conspiracy. Cahoon, 45, okay, so he was 45 last May, right? Well, this May he might be 46, right? And I think that's, that ties in with the age, doesn't it, of one of the people arrested. Cahoon is thought to have fled to Dubai several years ago and may be living there under a different name. Last month, Liverpool man Paul Mugan, who also wanted in relation to drug offences, was arrested in Dubai. The National Crime Agency said that Mugan from Croxteth had been using false identities to evade capture. Well, we know the Kenahan, I mean, they've got a bloody drawer full of uh, IDs, didn't they? You know, passports, you can be who you want. Right. Earlier this week, the spokesman for the Northwest Regional Crime Unit confirmed to the Echo that Cahoon is, it was still a wanted man. In 2016, Liverpool Crown Court heard how police were keen to speak to Cahoon in relation to a large scale, um, uh, to a large scale drugs conspiracy, um, which stretched from Merseyside um, to South Wales. Sorry, something's just coming in as I'm talking to you. Anyway, Operation Orlando resulted in the successful prosecution of the gang in 2016. Prosecutors told Liverpool Crown Court that they believe Cahoon led the group alongside another man called James Bush. One of the gang was held after he tried to smuggle two Kinder Surprise, surprise eggs filled with cocaine through John Lennon Airport on his way to a stag do in Spain. Cahoon, who fought under the moniker Boom Boom, was one of Merseyside's first big name MMA fighters. Cahoon organised some of the very first cage fighting events in Liverpool back in 2004 and was always a popular figure on the fight circuit. The Merseyside man had his first professional fight in 2010. Police have said that Cahoon may have been in Dubai but they are keeping an open mind as to his current whereabouts. So that was last May, okay, right, then we go forward to, um, then we go forward to um, last October, okay, another article, and then this article says, right, let's go up to it, right, oh, God, blimey, right, it's right up to the top, on the trail of Liverpool's most wanted fugitives, Police are keen to speak to Kevin Parley, David Ungu Jr. and Paul Cahoon. Okay, police are still seeking to arrest three Merseyside figures who are thought to have fled the UK. Stockbridge village man Mark Quinn was arrested on Friday in Maastricht, Holland. This is last October. During a joint operation involving the National Crime Agency, Police Scotland and local officers. Quinn had been wanted for seven years in relation to a Scottish-based drug conspiracy. The former boxing coach, who had... Here you go, boxing coach. Fuck me, they're all... You know what I mean? Honestly. The former boxing coach, right, Mark Quinn, who had been a wanted man since 2014, is now facing extradition proceedings back to the UK. 
National Crime Agency Deputy Director Matt Horn and the Police Scotland Assistant Chief Constable Pat Campbell both welcomed Quinn's arrest. Quinn is the latest in a long line of fugitives from the region to have been arrested while overseas. Earlier this month, Crockstiff man Paul Mugan was arrested by the NCA in Dubai. The NCA believed the Liverpool man is responsible for the export of drugs from Latin America to Europe. Mugan is also facing extradition back to the UK from the UAE. However, police are still keen to speak to three other men from across Merseyside thought to be overseas. Double murder su suspect, Liverpool man Kevin Parley is wanted by police in relation to the murders of teenager Liam Kelly and young mum Lucy Hargreaves. Parley was named as a wanted man by police after a group of men burst into a house on Lambourne Road, Walton in 2005. Miss Hargreaves was shot dead as she slept on the sofa before the house was torched. Along with Lucy's murder, Parley is also wanted for the tragic, tragic gunning down of 16-year-old Liam Kelly on Grafton Street in Dingle in 2004. When Liam died from shotgun wounds on Grafton Street, he was the city's then youngest ever victim of gun crime. Right, and this is Kevin Parley, 39, right? Well, when was this, right? Hang on a sec here, yeah, right? 2021, right? At October, so he's 40 or 41. He might be the one that's still on the run. Parley was released on bail after he was arrested in connection with Miss Hargreaves murder, a case in which the killers were understood to have been looking for the 22-year-old's boyfriend, C Gary Campbell. There have been re reported sightings of Parley in the Canary Islands, Asia, and accounts of him on the Costa Blanca in Spain. He is described as white, six foot five tall, and a broad build. He has blue eyes and a one-inch scar on the left side of his head. He has been known to have cropped ginger hair, but his hair colour or style may have changed over time. Vinnie Waddington, 18, was a pillion passenger on a motorcycle when he was shot by one of the three men who were inside an Audi A3 car on Banks Lane, Garston, at 8.47pm on July the 14th, 2015. Luke Kendrick and Ryan Bate were jailed for life for the murder, but police have always insisted there was a third man in the LD, thought to be David Ungi Jr. When Kendrick and Bate stood trial at Liverpool Crown Court, um, they heard how Ungi Jr. had been involved in a fight with Vinnie Waddington's brother in, the South, in a South Liverpool gym. It was alleged in court that Ungi hurled a dumbbell at Vinnie's brother, Liam Waddington, in Proflex on Wood Street, Garston, on July the 13th, less, less than 24 hours before the teenager's death. The NCA believe Ungi fled to Amsterdam 18 hours after the fatal shooting and released CCTV footage of him calmly strolling through the Dover ferry terminal. Ungi, former of Melbrick Road in Allerton, is described by NCA officers, NCA officers as an extremely dangerous individual. Paul Boom Boom Cahoon has been wanted by the North West Regional Crime Unit since 2015 in relation to a drug conspiracy. Cahoon from Rainhill near St Helens is thought to have fled to Dubai several years ago and may be living there under a different name. In 2016, Liverpool Crown Court heard how police were keen to speak to Cahoon in relation to a large-scale drugs conspiracy which stretched from Merseyside to South Wales. Cahoon, who fought under the moniker Boom Boom, was one of Merseyside's first big, big MMA fighters. Police have said that Cahoon might be in Dubai but are keeping an open mind as to his whereabouts. Well... He's another one in the frame that could be um, in Greece. Kevin Parley, I'd imagine if it was um, Kevin Parley had been arrested in Greece, right, that would have gone all round the world because he's wanted on two murders and things. But he might be the one that's still on his toes. But then again, he's and they say his brother's been arrested. Well, I don't know if Kevin Parley's got a brother um, that's involved in the, in, in the drug game. I'll have to check that out. Well, Paul Cahoon, yeah, he, he sort of ticks all the boxes. Although, um, 
you know, there was um, some rumours. There was some rumours the end of last year or something that uh, Carhoon, right, has, uh, uh, had f fallen out with the Kennehans or something like that and he'd been chopped up, you know what I mean, and served as hamburgers. Well, no, 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 not really. No, but apparently this Paul Carhoon had had a falling out with the Irish and um, and that they'd um, chopped him up, right, and disposed of the body. You know what I mean? Well, whether that's true or not, you know what I mean? Um, you know, a few things. But we're getting more and more names are coming up, aren't they, of who these people in Greece are. I mean, people are saying that Lee Edel is still in jail, so it can't be him. Other people were saying um, it's Carl Wall. And Carl, but then some people were saying Carl Wall is still in jail. Well, all I would say is is that, yes, if they are still in jail, if they weren't in jail, they would have been in Greece, put it that way. Right, I think we can all agree on that one, can't we? Right, well, uh, you know, so we're getting there a little bit, aren't we, you know? You know, and as I say, it's a work in progress, right, and I'm just sharing it with you as as I'm getting it, you know, as it, um, as it comes in. And there'll be things to add and things that I'll keep forgetting. Well, you know me, you know, butcher names anyway, whether they're the right names or the wrong names. So anyway, this one, right, just a little 11 minute one, right, and an update thing on the Greece thing, because we're still trying to wait for the um, for the names. And I think the press are asleep at the wheel. You know, they keep saying, oh, well, we need to get it confirmed, this, that and the other, right? Well, why don't they just ring up and pretend that they're the British consular? Do a bit of their own detective work. Pretend they're the British consulate and, and, you know, and try and extract the names that way. Oh, yes, uh, our client, yeah. Sorry, could you read the names again? Which, we, you know, the men arrested for the drugs, 300 kilos. And then the Greeks go, oh, yeah, it's, it's Lee Edel, Paul Cahoon and all that. And they go, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, OK, then, thank you. Isn't that how journalists work? What was his name? Um, Chevy Chase, Fletch, when he was a journalist. He, dr he dressed up with a false beard and all that. That's what journalists are meant to do to get the story, isn't they? Tell lies and pretend that there's someone else. I mean, isn't that what journalism's all about? Although Nicola Tallent couldn't get away with it, you know, wearing a beard. <laughs> Come on, I'm only joking. Right? She was good this morning, wasn't she? You know, that was good. good interview. I like that one. Anyway, right, so anyway, the Liverpool connection, right, in Greece, I'm still trying to find out who the fella is from London, right, and I've had a couple of names, but I'm not going to say, right, you know what I mean, you know, you know I, I will try and get back to you on that one, anyway, this is Art Hostage, episode 181, okay, the Greek bus of 300 kilos of coke, right, the names are pouring in, Art Hostage, over and out.